Good evening. <laughs> My name is Fen, playing some uh, The Dark Mod. I thought, randomly, Fen, you've played The Dark Mod training mission and you've played some Dark Mod missions. But you know what you haven't done? Tears of St. Lucia. So I'm gonna remedy that right now with a big old drug-filled tonic. Are you ready? Let's go! A few weeks ago, I started hearing people talk about a church called St. Roderick's. It's a small church east of Mill Street, built back when that part of town was considered well off. Now the area is one of the city's many slums, and the church ministers to the poor who live there. Ditchers, water carriers, and beggars alike. Not the kind of place I'd normally pay a visit to. But according to what I overheard at the local tavern, some kind of holy relic, a shard of the master builder's true hammer, or some such thing, found its way to the church. There's nothing like a shard of the true hammer to part a righteous fool from his money. Every market has at least one for sale. But this story is a little more interesting. Apparently, when this relic was put next to the church's statue of St. Lucia, the statue started weeping blood. Word spread, and the faithful have been flocking to the church to see it. Apparently, the Archbishop himself plans to visit St. Roderick's, to witness the statue weeping and decide whether it is an authentic miracle. The local priest isn't waiting, however, and is already proclaiming to one and all that the statue is a sign from God. No surprise. The little church is suddenly making more in tithes and donations than it knows what to do with. Not everyone is happy about this miracle, though. A messenger representing an opposing interest has offered me a fair sum of money to steal this relic. That would vandalize the weeping statue before the Archbishop's visit. My bet is some rival priest is jealous at all the newfound wealth St. Roderick's is earning. I'm supposed to make it look like a common burglary, which means I can help myself to the tithe box and any other loot I can find lying around. This would be an easy job, except that some cathedral guards are already patrolling the church in preparation. The front gate is likely to be guarded, so I may have to look for a less obvious route into the church. And smashing the statue without drawing any attention is going to be a challenge in itself. I don't get the other half of the money until the job is done, however, so I'll have to come up with something. <laughs> Objectives! I'm good at the dark mod? That's a lot! But still! Only one lockpick? What kind of a cheap ass are you? Ah, I guess that's good. Let's start. Right. So, uh, yeah, this is actually the mission... Yes, yeah, similar to the last mission I started. Oh, this is um one of the missions that comes with the dark mod, or or maybe it doesn't come with it. Maybe it's just the first mission made to like demonstrate it or something. Anyways, there's the map. So uh, this this would have been one of the original missions. I guess it's been updated, but uh, what I'm saying is, it's one of the original missions. So yeah, I can't believe that I have not played it. I just stampeded straight into like, you know, Requiem and Requiem. This water is like good looking water, sort of. I mean, it doesn't have ripples in it, but at least it doesn't look ridiculous. Now, the thing about this mission is that there's a whole thread on uh, people who like, did you have trouble with this mission with that one guard? People were like, lol, yes I did. Now apparently there's one guard that you have to get past or maybe you have to go down a sewer. Or something. I'm a little foggy on the details, but that's okay because fog brain is just the sign of a genius when you're growing up and your brain is like, <sighs> where you stare blankly, creepily at the screen. Uh, your parents will be weeping with joy. And if your mother's name is Lucia, well, all the better. Just checking to make sure my light jam works, because sometimes it just sticks. I haven't figured out why yet, but uh, you know, see a miracle. My mother told me, my mother always told me not to chew up my mouth open and not to talk while I'm eating. Well, here I am, just obeying. Hmm. Soon to be confirmed by the technical scientist. That is, like, fairly amusingly obvious. Please give us money, we swear it's a miracle. Churches are always like that. They're like, oh, we are the church. Oh, uh, be, yeah, hmm. Beware, evil spirits are about us seeking to lead the faithful astray. Do not let them tempt you. 
Church of St. Roderick is promoting false worship. Do not be fooled by false idols and pagan sorcery. If the Lord give a man eyes, yet he uses them to look upon falsehood, tis better that he pluck out those eyes and make of them an offering unto God. Do not look upon falsehood. Yeah, that's a kind of a lift directly from one of the thief games, I think. If thou hast eyes to see the builder, but do not, then pluck them out. There is a person. She doesn't seem to be guarding. She's just walking really crazily with her dress all, all weird. Wait a minute. I have to use the use key instead of the frog key for this lock? Okay, well, no matter. I can't open the door anyway, so I will freaking whatever. Do I have anything else valuable? Breath, potion? No, not really. Okay. Well, thus far, I haven't had any trouble at all. This has been super easy. It's because I'm so freaking good at the engine. Oh, my God, you guys. There's one peasant over there. I think I was saying something spontacularly important back there, but hey, I love this busted up ground. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's definitely a slum. Look at this poor section of town. He's not crap in it. Also, there's sun coming through the window, so I can't see anything. That looks like a precious book, or at least a precious cobblestone. It could be a holy cobblestone. You know, when people want a, something to be holy, well, they make it a holy. It does a come with an AC adapter. Ah, 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 I was trying to be Mario, but instead I was the Count, who isn't Italian at all. <gasps> Revelation. Every accent is really the same accent. Well, that's strange. Maybe I'm supposed to get into a window of this place and get out through the door because, I mean, if I'm going to St. Lucia's, then why would I even bother? There's that sheep sign again. It's just like a lamb on a sign. That's pretty cute. <laughs> like somebody just made that up like, I think this is adorable. No rope arrows, stuff. Man, if only this lantern was more like a flashlight so you could use it at long range. Oh, right, the start is this door. Possibly also these. Maybe? Nah. I should look at my map more. Okay. Where do I start? I don't have any freaking. Oh, this is just the map of the actual church of St. Roderick. So, why is it the church of St. Roderick if St. Lucia is the one weeping? Perhaps she's weeping because the church wasn't named after her. I mean, I would cry about that. Hell, I should turn my light off. Uh oh. Yeah. Also, it should be pretty quiet. Also, somebody was supposed to do a, a new Benny voice like a year back or something, or two years back or something. <laughs> it was supposed to be in a mission. I still haven't heard it, I don't think. I don't know. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna be a good player and, you know, be a good player and not, not be a bad player. But the sunlight streaming in through the window has caused me to be a bad player. That's not blood, it's just Kool-Aid. He drinks a lot of it. I mean, he's drinking it right now, dude. Hello, seriously. Man. Wait, you don't care? You say hello? Yeah. Well, no problem. You probably don't have nothing valuable. It'd be hilarious if you did. I wouldn't notice, but everyone else would be like, That's unrealistic! And I'd just be like, Oh, hey. You're right! Okay, well, if you don't care, I'm gonna use my lamp, because otherwise I can't see. I'm trying to get up, 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 and use your little barn here to get up. Wow, that, that door, that... Now, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Oh, I can just get in through? No, I can't get into that room. There's no point in this, is just like a start area, like, hey, this is the start of the mission, feel free to explore before we slap you in the face with all kinds of challenges. Hmm, still though, I... Jeez. I wanna see what's in there. Death and, and hiccups. Okay, I guess I don't really. I'm looking up, I'm looking up! Are you guys so proud of me? Well, I don't care. I'm proud of me, and that's the only thing that ma- oh. Ooh, 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 nope. <laughs> it was as simple as that, was it? Hey, it's trying to train you, hey. You can, you can, you can, you can pick stuff up. I was trying to be all impressive by- Whoa. What was that? <laughs> by pulling it, you know, through, but I, I didn't manage to do that. Okay, seriously, this is gonna be a that super- no, 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 there's no trouble here. Do I look like a cop? I'm not. Cops can't lie about being cops, at least in fiction. What? My blackjack key is like... Putting away my blackjack is taking it out. How do you even do this? Like, this game, this mission is making things different than the Arles are. It's messing with my actual controls. This really is to teach you about. Yeah, because this mission is supposed to be like, hey, here's our dark mod. It's great. Please learn it so that you may enjoy. It wasn't funny. Fine. Oh. Well, what about here? I didn't just come in here, did I? N 
don't think so. No. Yes, there's a dedicated mantle key, and you could learn that as well if you wanted. There's another portly wash bowl. Oh. Ah. See, now this might be where I'm actually meant to go. Maybe? I, well, I don't know. I mean, I heard that you had to, like, go sort of down and underneath and stuff. But, uh... Oh, my God. Really? really? I'm gonna need a key. A key to the stash of questionable substances such as poop and automobile. Well, you'll want to poop an automobile when you get done with this substance. If only I had a lead on where I could possibly find the dude who dwells here so that I can rob from him. That's what a thief does. He robs from him. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. See, if I hadn't gone back there, I wouldn't have found the windows and and everything. Hang on here. I see you there, you section of all. The mantling here is, is sometimes a bit slow because it's just how it goes. Hey, wait a minute. What? I'm not supposed to be here. Serious? Give me. Give, give. What? Weird. Hey, hey, awesome. Dude, I'm going everywhere except where I'm supposed to because I don't want to get into no confrontations. I'm a thief and I'm exploring my environment. That's what you freaking do. Come on, don't be an idiot here. Don't, don't be me. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not an idiot. Making fun of yourself can definitely be taken too far, and I think I do that all the freaking time. Wah! Can I, like, get up? Oh. <laughs> yeah. His mission's like, hey, go crazy! With good ideas for America. Bridgeport with good ideas for Bridge Paraca Port. Ica. <laughs> this is awesome, Ken. Ah. It's awesome, Ken. I know, Julie. My name's Barbara, you insufferable womanizing git. Oh, man. I guess these are like little paddles that you can use for your canoe. Also, that you can use to, like, get up. Oh, this is awesome. Like, I haven't even gotten to any action at all, and it's still <gasps> fun. Um, however, oh, I'm not liking my chances here. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, I wasn't liking my chances. I gotta be completely honest with you. <coughs> yep. Now I'm almost past the funny part of my apple. Okay. Um. Get the feeling I'm supposed to climb on the ropes, not the roofs. That sounds like a nice little mnemonic to remember. But, uh. So far, this mission had a lot of places that don't really go anywhere and are just kind of there for fun, apparently. Unless I'm missing something. Which I almost assuredly am. And come on. Well, I did get those two arrows. I don't even remember what type they were. So there's that, which is nice. Um, how the heck do I get down? How the heck do I get down? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? But by all the shame, I'm buried beneath my... Oh, crap, I'm rolling. Oh, am I rolling? Oh, am I rolling? Oh, am I rolling? Oh, am I rolling? Anyway, let's just carry on like I'm supposed to. St. Lucia should be around here somewhere. Don't want to get in trouble with that peasant lady. That looks like a well, but it's just a bunch of wood. Instead of water, they're trying to carry up wood. It was a fatally flawed idea based on a tragic misunderstanding of basic physics. See the miracle, the Holy St. Lucia weeps for all. Forget thee not to tithe. I, lo <laughs> I love the uh, subtle parody here. Yep, churches always, churches always be like, hey, forget thee not to tithe. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Explaining the joke and yeah, that guard—that's the guard everybody talks about, right? And then you know, people are like, "Hey, you gotta go random through the sewer." And somebody's like, "Dude, I didn't find no sewer hatch, and I probably won't either because I can't really see the screen very well." Something. Raise the brightness. Yeah, see, it goes like, "Yeah, hey." Apparently, he turns too, if you wait. But I'm inclined to find this thiefy way around if it exists. Some lady was walking around here, and what's her problem? I need a key. For that hatch. Where? Who would have a key for that? Like, who really? I ain't even seen a readable tell me or nothing. Oh, sorry. I ain't seen a readable tell me or nothing. Well, there's this balcony up here. I might, <laughs> might be able to get up. Not 100% sure. I'm, hey, getting tired of these fat washboards. Well, ropes seem to be the main mode of transportation around the town. So... Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Pretty darn easy to get up places that you're not supposed to. Just the same. Look at all this broken crap. Okay. <clears throat> God! Don't don't sing in a let's play. You're not allowed. It's against the freaking law. Whatever. Ah! Here at the start. 
Excuse me, here at the start, there's a barrel and a pipe. Can you solve the riddle? Well, I have kind of. Yeah, you gotta jump up here and then get pole vaulted off, apparently. Go in here. Seriously. I need a key. Let's get. Oh, it's something at all! To my faithful and patient wife. Fortune smiled on me today. Yes, I know you would have me say it was God, and mayhaps they have both heard my prayers. While I walked to work today, I passed a wagon that had struck a dog in the street and thrown a wheel. There were a number of swordsmen with the cut, and I saw on it the emblem of the Fletcher's Guild. The dog shrieked like a child left too close to the hearth, and in the commotion, men lifting the wagon back up onto its wheel, one swordsman dispatching the dog, and nearby merchants yelling about the blood spraying their tunics, I noticed a few arrows had fallen from the wagon. Not regular hunting arrows, mind, but the special ones the brigades use for putting out fires. I could work for a month and afford not a one. I don't know what stirred my blood, but in an instant I leapt forward and grabbed the nearest arrows, stuffing them under my tunic and walking quickly away. One of the guards spotted me, however, and I was forced to run for my life. I dropped one or two arrows in my flight, and I think he stopped to retrieve them rather than chase me further, for when I had turned one or two more corners I saw that I was safe. Water arrows cost 5 GP, dude. Frickin' seriously. I still had a few arrows left. Think of the coin they could fetch, and what we could buy, like a couple of sandwiches. We will need to hide them for a short while, for the swordsmen may know my face and might warn merchants about someone with only a few arrows to sell. But in a week or so, it should be safe to take them to a pawn shop. It is said that water inside the arrows never goes dry. Hide them somewhere secret, not in the house. Lest some visit or see them and expose us as thieves, more like you. Your loyal and not at all loyal husband, Pear. I hate pears. Get off my apple farm. <laughs> Looks like somebody's boots got bloodied. Possibly also their hands got muddied or bloodied. Really? Are there water arrows? No, they're not here. But I don't even need any waters. I've got ten. That's plenty enough. Where's my sewer key? I mean, I'm glad that I'm finding all this cool stuff. Truly, but... The mantling is too good in this game. <laughs> Look at this. We must have put all this nice, delicious climbing architecture up here for a reason. Uh, uh, I think this tap the key to toggle your weapon thing might be new for 2.03 or something. <laughs> I'm gonna get wherever the hell I'm going. By God, by the time I'm going there, getting. <laughs> Seriously, there's gotta be other secrets around. <gasps> Maybe that board under the house isn't the sewer type hatch I'm thinking of. <laughs> well, there's this, but there isn't. Oh! You can stop yelling at me now. <laughs> Uh, Sophie, I need your help. That the bastard Yargar Marbar is putting me out of of business uh, uh, or business. I can't get not two pints a rat these days, cause Yar keeps selling uh, um is twice as big. This is a hard to. Why is this fun? Then you are definitely complaining and then shoots me. He's getting rats from old sewers. One's twice as big. Okay, heard him bragging about it at the. Laboring gull. But those sewers ain't worked since before the old days. They've been collapsed for years, so how does he get in? I know he sees you upstairs each Saturday after work. Talk him up and find out where he gets into those damn sewers. He likes the d dress off but can't afford it. Me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Strip, he'll talk. I'll make it worth your while. I can't see you this week because the wife watches me like a damned hawk. Leave a letter under that flat rock near the stairs at the fleece. The fleece. Under a flat rock. Well, I saw some guy upstairs. A flat rock at the fleece. Oh, the lamp place. Ah. It's funny because a lot of people are like, I missed the tavern. Well, I didn't miss it, but I missed the letter. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Completely my fault. I'm sorry. Well, here's the fleece. Looks like a rock. A flat rock. Or, oh, no. It's this one. Okay. 
John, I write way better than you, but you definitely write. Gar found a hole in the floor in the old Wellesley place that collapsed a few years back. You climb down it and you wind up in the old sewers. He hunted rats down there, but now grumbles he's practically cleaned them all out. He's put a trap door over it with a padlock to keep people out, but he keeps the key on himself. I got him to come back tomorrow for another drink. I'll get him upstairs again and sneak the key out when he's busy. I'll drop it in a pot and set it out on my window ledge above the bear and belcher. It's high as you'll have to knock it off somehow. Sophie. And I was just up there. Hey, this is cool though. Breadcrumbs and stuff. So she wants me to knock it down. Don't think it's intended for me to be able to do this though. <laughs> Oh, uh, high, high, and and how high? You mean one of these windows here? You mean like on top of there? Knock it down, eh? Okay, so there's a pot on a ledge here somewhere, I guess. Is it up there? And above, do you mean like directly above? Or, you know, just... I don't think I see any pots up there. Oh, it's there! It's not as high as I thought. So yeah, it's teaching you how you can knock things around in the engine. Kind of what like the training mission teaches you, sort of. Oh great, that didn't work at all. It was freaking amazing. Am I not supposed to do it this way? Well, I mean, kind of, but... Really? I mean, what? I'm done. What? Perhaps I need a different angle. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Oh, this engine has so many cool possibilities to really make you feel immersed like that. To not make you feel like you're just frobbing something and then using another thing with another thing. Dark Mod has these really organic interactions. Like that one mission, the nightly super awesome Night Luna Manor where you gotta stick a big circular thing into a thing in the wall with your hands. That's amazing. Well, now that I'm about to go into the sewers, I think I'm gonna... Leave it here. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time for more weeping. And bye for now.